Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Tuesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the Ocean of Emotion deck for this reading today. We're going to connect with the energy around you, your person and your journey. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So I'm going to shuffle these cards and I'm going to talk about what you may experience in, be experiencing in the physical body. So thank you, angels. What's the energy coming in around you today? What's the energy that's coming in around you today? What's the message for you today? What do you need to know? Jumping straight out. I'm taking quite a few cards there. That's why I feel I've only been guided to this one deck today. And the energy coming in around them today. And pull these cards out as well. And then the energy around the journey itself. The energy around the journey today. Wow, these cards are flying out there. So I'm going to connect with the knees first of all. Now, if you've been having any knee issues... Knee issues are connected with movement and flow. Think about what the knees do. Okay, the knees create the ability to walk properly, to balance properly. The knees are very powerful. And when we have knee issues, we can't walk. We can't walk up, we can't down, we walk down, we struggle. And if there's any knee issues going on, you know, if your knee's aching or hurting or maybe you're struggling to walk properly today and you're having aching knees or maybe there's been a knee operation lately or something going on with the knee or you're hobbling or maybe you need a stick to walk or something's occurring within your legs, your knees or your feet, it's because of movement and flow. Now, things are shifting forward right now. There's big changes taking place. And when we have fear of movement, when we have fear of making that change, when we have fear of taking action, it can affect the joints and it can affect the knees. And you may be experiencing this because this is what your person is experiencing. And they give me fear because they have fear about making that change or stepping forward or reaching out or making a huge shift in their life. But you're being guided to be more flexible, adaptable to the way this journey is happening, the way it's flowing. So you don't focus on the stagnancy or you feel like things are stuck, or you're trying to rush things or make things happen, be in the flow. And then if you have been experiencing any knee issues, they will heal. So it says, be flexible and adaptable to the flow of the journey, and move forward with ease and the knowledge that all is well and you are safe. So you can affirm that, I am safe. I am safe. All is well in my world. Everything is flowing beautifully. I am flexible and adaptable. I move through my life with flow and with ease. Everything moves into my life easily and effortlessly. I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. And when you operate in that energy, it brings peace in. So I'm not saying a lot of you are going to have real severe knee issues, but you may just have a click in your knee. You know, I always know when I'm going through a fear of a change or a move because when I walk up the stairs, my knee will start aching. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, I need to work on being in the present moment. Because a lot of the times when we're operating an ego, which we connected with yesterday, when we're operating an ego where, where we are controlled by the past or the future, we know we're not in the now and that's when we're having problems. So if you're having any problems today, whether it's you're worrying or you're in stress or you're having knee issues or maybe you're still having eye issues, breathe yourself back into the present moment and affirm all is well and I am safe. Now, let's connect with the energy and see what's happening today. So the message coming in around you is committed. Until death do us part isn't enough. And this is about you wanting more. Again, we have to remember that we're here for the amount of time we're meant to be here for. Time is not going to run out for you. And you might feel like that. You might feel like there isn't enough time. There just isn't enough time. Time is running out, especially if they're married already and you're thinking they've got to release that and then go through a divorce and then heal from that to be with me. When's it going to be my time? Or you could even be thinking about there just isn't enough time to do the things that you want to do. You could be worried about your biological clock ticking. You could worry about what people are saying. You should have this by now or you should be doing this by now. And remember, you have enough time. You are going to be committed to each other. You will be together for the long term until death do us part. So this is a huge sign of commitment coming in. But if you're feeling there isn't enough, you've got to work through healing you. Because what I'm connecting within this card is the universe, the angels, God, the higher power, whoever you connect with, wants to give you everything that you deserve. But if you're feeling it isn't enough right now, or it should be right now, 
or you're feeling like there isn't enough communication or they aren't doing enough or they aren't giving enough, then it really is a message for you to give back to yourself. Give back to yourself and become your own best friend and that will replace anything that feels broken. If you're thinking, I don't know how to fix the pain in my heart, I feel broken because they're in a commitment already or I'm not sure how much time we're going to have or it just isn't enough. You've got to fill your own cup up. This is really a huge sign that when we get broken, it's an opportunity to work on healing the self. It's an opportunity to connect with God, our creator, and to find faith in who we are. So you don't need to fix anything within this connection apart from you because the angels are going to fix the connection. The universe is going to create the way. When you feel broken, it's an opportunity to go within and heal. And it's because you have all this desire. You know, you're missing them. I miss the way you taste. I miss your lips. I miss communicating with you. I miss your warm embrace, everything that you gave. And this is again about going over the past. So this is a past energy where you keep reminiscing about the way things used to be. Or maybe having flashbacks to making love to them or spending time with them or being with them. And you're thinking, I want that. I want that back. Well, it's going to come back in a better way. So stop going over the past. It's just making you feel broken right now. Embrace where you are today. Embrace the future. Embrace this moment. And have faith in what will be. And remember how strong you are. You are strong. You're as strong as you think you are. You have power. And your person's been coming through constantly saying to you, you're the strongest person I know. You are the strongest person that I know. So find that strength today. Call an Archangel Michael to give you the strength that you need. I feel you're the one today that's struggling with this strength energy because you're going through darkness. I'm going through this darkness. I'm afraid you don't want me. I'm afraid that you're not going to give to me the things that I truly need. What if you can't see the truth? What if you never find your way out? What if, what if? So it's fear. So what I'm really connecting with is... You're in fear today of the past or the future. And you may not even understand it's a fear. You may just see it as painful or darkness or being broken. But it's an energy that's operating in the past or the future. And that's controlled by fear. False experiences appearing real or false evidence appearing real. When we have a choice, we can either run or we can face. And you're being guided to face what you're experiencing right now. And what you're being guided to do is have compassion for yourself and have compassion for the situation. Thank you for caring when nobody else did. So you may feel like they needed to be there for you. And I spoke about this not long ago. But you can give to yourself. You can be your own best friend right now. You can be your own saviour. You can give back to you. You can connect with your angels and your guides to feel alive. So thank you for caring when nobody else did. Give back to you. Really what your person is saying to you, I'm so grateful for you because you were there for me when no one else was. You had compassion for me when I was going through my darkness. You've helped me to be strong. You've helped me to overcome my fears. You're helping me now even when it feels broken between us, even when I'm already in a commitment and you know I desire you. So this is very much about being in the moment and letting go of the need for everything to happen now. This is another reason why you're being reminded to go with the flow, to be flexible and adaptable. And then you'll heal any knee pain. Now, they're going through misery. They are haunted by the past and their own inner darkness. So it's very likely what you're actually connecting with is what they are experiencing. Because you might be okay. You might think I've been doing lots of healing work on myself. I feel okay. I just don't know where this misery is coming from. I don't know where this broken feeling is is coming from. And it's because they're feeling it too. Look at the eyes again, their eyes. We've been connecting with dry eyes. Those eyes look dry there. So dry eyes, tiredness. You know, we can get eye like feeling like we've got bags under eyes and our eyes are dark when we're tired. You know, we've got black eyes there as well, which can be connected with feeling punched in the face. They feel like they're punched in the face by life. So they're haunted by the past and their own inner darkness and their misery. So in their situation right now, it feels very dark. It feels very miserable. And they're trying to gain focus. This is why, again, we're having this eye issue coming through. I know what I want and I can't stop until I have it. And they may be watching you right now, focusing on you, focusing on the future with you, thinking about you, wanting you, transforming for you. I'm not the same person anymore. 
layers being removed. That's why we connect with the snake, because the snake is shedding those skins, those layers to start again. Feeling ripped apart, feeling ripped open, change. And again, there could be stomach issues going on here. So they could be having digestion issues. They could be having heartburn. They may be, you know, feeling that they aren't digesting the food properly because they're digesting things. And this is bringing in knee pain. So I'm feeling with this intestines. I'm feeling um, the stomach area. And you can also see this as, as getting more toned, you know, transforming for you. So I also feel they may be down the gym. Or they may be working on their physical body or their appearance. I definitely feel a lot of them have lost a lot of weight and they are becoming more toned, more happier and healthier within themselves. And the energy around the journey is creative. You inspire my mind and fill me with light. So instead of worrying about everything or stressing over things, focus on the things you're creative about. You inspire their minds and you fill them with light and you feel inspired as well. So focus on getting creative. Nothing can tame a spirit like this. So remember, you are you for a reason. You're wild and sexy and classy and sassy and special for a reason. Allow yourself to be yourself. They know they mess things up and it's killing them. Remorse, going over the past. They may have messed things up with an addiction like smoking weed or being addicted to cigarettes or because these things may not seem like much, but they cost money. So they may also be in remorse because they may have got into debt through these things too. And that's because of their unstableness. They're, they're feeling unstable. They need to sort things out. And walking a thin line between being okay and being a complete mess. And you may feel that way too. So it really is about gaining balance. And you gain balance through wisdom and putting the wisdom into practice. I found the wisdom needed to change my perspective. So it's a wise thing to look at things in a whole new way. And then you take responsible for what responsibility for what seems irresponsible. I can't keep it together. I know I've already screwed things up. So your person saying to you, I'm so sorry I've been irresponsible. I'm sorry for all the things I've done that have caused problems. I know I've messed it up. And I feel this is addictive things like drinking alcohol, smoking weed, even doing things that have caused them to get into debt. And they are setting themselves free through forgiveness. They're working on their stability right now to be more stable, to take responsibility, to understand that these things take time. They're becoming wiser. So they are making up for the past and the things they've done. So I feel they are really taking responsibility for their actions, becoming transformed, becoming more focused. Even if they're still dealing with misery, they are making huge changes because their desire is to be with you, to be committed to you. That's why we have to go into this broken energy to heal and become strong. So what gets broken gets healed through strength. When we go into the darkness, we find light. Have compassion for everything that's going on right now and work on your creativity. And this is them understanding what to do, taking control. So if there is knee issues or knee pain, the reason why is because you need to be more in the flow of things and more trusting of the journey. But the real message I've got coming through here is... They are taking control of their life to release and heal all the things that have caused problems in the past. So whatever that problem is that you're connecting with, whether it's an addiction, a karmic situation, these things are ending so that they can be free and you can be free to move forward together in divine timing. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.